Now ones like this, even in this condition, can sell for three or four hundred dollars just as this is. Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to talk about picture frames for just a little bit here. Now, I love picture frames. I framed my own artwork for years. I like doing oil paintings on the side of family members and things like that. I used to do portraits uh, a lot. So I always sought out picture frames, nice ones, like this one here. Now, this is a nautical one, and I think you can see the dolphin uh, designs on here, seashells, the whole works. Now something like this is a 10 or $15 purchase for us. I've bought, geez, a lot of frames in my day. We've made thousands just off picture frames in themselves. I love the hand carved wood ones. That is not hand carved, but it's still a phenomenal, nice one, 1870s, maybe even a little before that from the way it looks. It's very, very well done. Now with picture frames, there's two main types that I personally look for. I like anything that's hand carved wood, where the design on the sides, instead of this being gesso, it would be hand carved wood. And they do exist this elaborate and this unique, just like this one here. I've seen them with all sorts of different things. Military motifs, I've seen them with military motifs of tanks and things like that, howitzers, Spanish-American War. I've seen transportation ones with train images on the bottom that advertised for train lines. There'd be posters inside of them. I've seen gessoed versions of the same thing. Frames in general are cool in my opinion. It's really unique to find something this elaborate. This one's probably going to stay with us for a while. Any of these sorts can do phenomenally well. Now the back of this here, it's just old, beat up, dirty, aged looking wood. There was something in this when I purchased this in all honesty, but it was just trashed out. There wasn't much left. I only wanted the frame. Uh, that was the key factor. It's pretty heavy. It's solid wood with the gesso, which is basically a thick plaster. And then it's been copper leafed and gold leafed. So it looks like maybe even a rose gold look to it, which again would be Victorian era without a doubt, or possibly much earlier, as I, as I said. Now I look for the carved wood ones and then the gessoed ones. If the design is gessoed or hand carved, those are usually worth at least 30, 40, 50 bucks for most anyone that's fancy. Now the fancier like that one with nautical scenes, the more they can go for. A military collector is going to want a nice military frame, whether it's hand carved or gessoed with military motifs. Say it's US Navy and it's got a battleship on the bottom or something made in gesso or carved in wood. All of those sorts can go for some good money. It doesn't even have to be that complicated. Simple designs that are very well rendered in solid wood or fancifully rendered in gesso can go for some really good money as well. They're pretty easy to ship. Now, something like the one we just showed you would probably be an extra 8 15 bucks, or whatever the case may be on shipping-wise. It wouldn't be a problem with something like this. Shipping on a frame overall for something like that's probably going to run around 30, 34 bucks. It probably weighs about eight pounds as well. Once it's wrapped, it may weigh another pound or two. That is one consideration I always do when I'm buying picture frames. Let's look at a few just to give you an idea on where prices will fall on stuff like that. So we're in Seller Hub here. I'm in the research section and we're looking at Terra Peak. And I've just typed in picture frame gilt. That's all I typed in. You can type in gesso, you can type in uh, carved, whatever you want. You're gonna find a ton of picture frames for any of those designations. I'm looking for gilt today. I have basically a rose gold or possibly copperish uh, tone gessoed frame, nautical. You could even look up nautical frame and you would be surprised at some of the prices that come up. Major companies have done picture frames like Tiffany, for example. So you can run into, in fact, Tiffany Studio is the first one. Tiffany Studio is at the very top. Carved wood, again, you can see the prices on here. An empty frame is just fine. Many people may fix them up, 
plop a nice vintage mirror in it and mount it on the wall, a decorator piece. They're highly sought after. The fancier they are, the better they will sell almost every time. Most of these fancy frames sell very, very quickly right after they get up on the market. Now this one is a nautical one as well. If you look at it, you can see the resemblance of seashells and things. On the inside, it almost has a fin look, like maybe a dolphin leaping uh, going around the edges. It's multi-layered, so there's an outer and an inner piece. You could throw a mirror in it, just like this one here. Great example of, of how well this displays. You'd want a beveled mirror as this one is. On most of these vintage ones, you could fix it up. You could sell it for more even if it is fixed up with the mirror and the whole works. So there's many different opportunities with this. A carpenter or a, a plaster worker could easily fix something like that up, remount it, fill in the gaps, re tint it, re-guilt uh, it, the whole works. It's not that complicated. But anyway, this is just a spectacular one in the $400 range. Yet another one, and this one has ears of corn going around the edge here, like a harvest fall or something. It looks like leaves on the inner side. There's leaves and branches running over that side too. Again, it's gessoed. You can see the cracks running uh, vertical uh, along the side where the corn is. That's plaster that's now cracked due to age. It can be stabilized, it can be sealed, it can be tightened up where there isn't the gap where the, the miter cut uh, would butt right into each other. It, it can be repaired. These are very easily uh, repaired. Somebody could gilt it instead of the silver gilt finish on it. Lots of things can be done with this. And we're just talking about the wood pieces, the frame, and the gessoed part itself. 325 bucks. Now here is one that's marked wood frame. Uh, it may have gesso work and wood carving on it as well. That is something you will run into where the main work is done by carving and then the detailed work is done by gesso applied to the surface of this. Rather unique, rather nice. This is something you'd see like for a mirror. That's what I would say someone would use this for, or a vintage oil painting. Whenever I run into one, I'm always thinking about who would want that type of frame. With a nautical one, there's tons of people. Um, a, a sailor, someone who likes uh, like Nantucket or the ocean, all that sort of thing. So it has a wide reach of, of people that would want that. Just like this one here, the style, the design would fit even in a modern day home just because of the sheer uniqueness of the frame. Here's another gessoed one. Again, some of this is going to probably be wood with all the rest being gesso. So it's really, really unique one here also. It's not very wide. It does look to be vintage. Many of these you could run into would be uh, marked on the back by a specific manufacturer. I don't think this one has a name. It does have a partial label on here. That may be the source of where it came from. And yet another one. Now this image isn't so clear, but it's really a spectacular piece of gesso, uh, probably a mix of carved as well. This is the sort of thing that can sell for hundreds of bucks as you see this one here. I believe this one went for almost $500. It's got some nice work at the top. Those are usually gessoed pieces of wood. So there'll be a backing piece of wood with the flowers being in gesso. It's been gilt at the end of the day. And yet another fine example. This one's a whimsical design, um, probably for a child, I would say someone would be interested in this. It's a nice piece of craftsmanship here. Hand carved, that's all hand carved they're saying on this one. Now these do not have to be old to carry a value. If it's hand done and it has the work, the, the investment and quality in it, it doesn't matter on the age because someone's likely going to repair a vintage one to still use it on their wall. So this will cut out the middleman. It's an excellent piece here, $500 mark as well. Now here's another example, and this is like a leopard pattern printing uh, technique where the gilting is done in like a two-tone. It gives this bubbly leopard look to it. This is really old. If you don't know a little bit about it, especially looking at the back, looking at how dark and how crude they can be on the back. It's just a handmade frame that someone's put together and then added the, the pattern to it. This is from the Hudson River School, which is a, a regional area of artists. 
1865. So this is really early. If you didn't know enough about something like this, you would probably have no idea that it could carry this sort of value, especially looking at the back. If you just took a quick glance, it could pass for a junk piece of plastic in the wrong person's eye. So it is a fine example of something like this. It's got that crude, that, that handmade uh, look to the back, especially with the little uh, support pieces you see there. Again, four or $500, these sorts of frames can sell for. So I always recommend digging through the frames. It does not have to have a picture in it at all. Or it may have a really awful picture that's worth nothing and be only a few bucks because they're judging the frame by what's in it. Another example of why these can be purchased relatively cheap. I have a video showing how to pack big frames, large frames. So if you're interested in that and you have some anyway, take a look at that video. I'll have a link to it down in the description box for those that are interested. Well, there we have it. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. separately in metal and plastic.